Hey everybody. Nipple. <laughs> hey everybody. <laughs> Radar and nibbles, nibbles here on day 67. Look at this beautiful forest. Look at this forest. Like, sorry. Just, sorry, dude. I, I just oops. have to say one thing. I'm we not very good at this. in the, the Shenandoah National Forest or Shenandoah National Park now for like a long time and the forests were just really sucky and this is like a beautiful here are the treetops like this is like it's not an old growth forest but it's a it's got a really high canopy and it's so cool in here anyway sorry i'll get i'll get moving <laughs> still figuring out how to use all these buttons but we just left Front Royal this morning, probably got on trail, started hiking around 11. Um, had a great little trip in town. My parents, Deb and Gear, made the, the trek out from Delaware to come meet us. Um, so, oh and yeah, they brought Doug the dog. Um, <laughs> uh, so we had a fabulous time with them. Smash and Radar got new shoes and from the Outfitter we ate at uh, Ladies for breakfast yesterday when we got into town before my parents got there and then for lunch we ate at Splunkers which apparently was voted Virginia's best burger well, that's what we were told anyway. It's pretty good. And then, um, Smash Radar and I went over to the Front Royal Brewery and met up with some of our through hiking buddies. And there's a cool base camp there, which, uh, <laughs> which offers hikers. Um, free showers and laundry, um, like a little chill out area that's like, that space I guess is provided by the brewery and like a bakery and an outfitter. So it's a pretty nice little chill area to do your chores. We just like popped our heads and peeked in and looked at it. Um, since we were staying at the hotel, we kind of already had those amenities taken care of but if you didn't have that or you're just coming in for the day definitely check it out I think you can get access from the brewery or from the outfitter um, yeah and then we had some barbecue across the street from the quality inn at pavement yeah, it was all right uh, a little dry for me but course it's all about good time and fellowship and friends and family so check all those boxes for successful time off trail and then this morning we oh yeah I guess we also resupplied yesterday so this morning we packed up all of our goodies and our bags and our chocolate chip cookies from Homemade by Gary and our Chill Magic Kit Kat bars from Book. Thank you, Book, for those. We got them and we all enjoyed them. <laughs> and I've packed out a couple as well as a couple cookies. So <laughs> we are all happily indulging in the treats. Um, man, getting back on trail today at 11 o'clock. Humidity was about 400%, which is obviously impossible since that would be more than rain. But I dropped my phone in a mud, I don't know, pile that was on trail. So we'll see how that works. I powered it off and I'm hoping the mud will dry and I can make the best of a bad situation. And she won't break. And yeah, I mean, just within a few minutes of getting on trail, we had just sweat pouring off our faces. 
So, you know you're close to DC swamps when the humidity is high. Um, yeah, this forest is awesome. We are having a great time. Radar is loving his new pair of shoes, his topos. I'm sure he'll give you some more insights on that gear. And Smash, I think he's also super thrilled to be back in his Ultra Lone Peak 4s. And I kept my Solomons. They didn't have my size on a pair of topos, and to be honest, I just wasn't quite sure I was confident in switching out shoes yet. So I will continue with these shoes that have 250 miles on them and hope that I can make it work. And yeah, that's where we are right now. We originally were planning on going 10 miles today just to kind of take it easy. The high heat, we're supposed to get some after afternoon storms maybe and some evening ones later in the evening. Um, but we might go 15, just kind of depends on how we feel. But it's a really nice, uh, you know, excluding the humidity. It's a really nice day and a nice day of trail. Lots of switchbacks going uphill out of town. Always love that. Anything else you've got, Radar? Uh, no, that's about it. All right, thanks for tuning in. It's day 67. We are, uh, I don't know, probably around 975-ish. Uh, I think Front Royal's around 970, so that's where we are. And we should be in Harper's Ferry in three or four days um, for a quick little resupply, we think. Drop into the ATC, get our sweet photos taken, and on to the next thing. So, uh, we have, let's see, so between here and Harper's Ferry, we'll be crossing, um, you know, the border from Virginia to West Virginia, as well as hitting that 1,000 mile marker, which I tell you what, <laughs> very exciting. But those are all things to look forward to, not things that have happened. And, as always, we're looking forward to getting more ice cream in Harper's Ferry. Alright, that's enough rambling for me. Thanks for watching. Peace out.